Thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video. The GAN Prime lineup are Anchor's best multi-device fast chargers. This lineup comes with everything from small 65 watt banks to a three USB-C charger that outputs 150 watts. Let's take a closer look. Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. I have bought so many Anchor batteries and chargers over the years. I've even got a bunch of the five and 10 port USB bricks powering a bunch of stuff in this studio right now. And I always carry one of the big Anchor batteries with me when I travel. I also have their wireless phone charging stand for my desk. I'm really a genuine fan of their stuff. So when they reached out to me to ask about doing a sponsored video about their latest product launch, the GAN Prime lineup, I was super excited. I'm also really excited that they are getting into the Gallium Nitride charger game. So let's back up and I wanna explain why this is so exciting. The GAN in GAN Prime is short for Gallium Nitride. And this is some really amazing new technology that is completely changing how chargers can be built. It makes them a lot smaller and way more portable. The mineral itself isn't new, it's actually the key to making blue LEDs, which was then the key to making white LEDs, and this was created in the 1990s. That revolutionized the world of electronics. It's what gives us the ability to have modern TVs, our nice LED home lighting, our RGB studio lighting, and the inventors even won a Nobel Prize. Although if you look a little bit deeper, there was actually someone who had figured it out in the 70s at RCA, but he never got a proper chance to develop that technology and that research was basically ignored for about 20 years. So why is this relevant to chargers? Well, gallium nitride is a lot more efficient than silicon and it can work at higher temperatures and higher frequencies. We've basically reached the limit of how good silicon can get because there's a physical limit to how much heat and electrical transfer you can get out of silicon. Gallium nitride on the other hand has totally different properties and it can work at a higher voltage and it produces less heat. Less heat means it needs less space to get rid of the heat. So the chargers can then be smaller. And that to me is really why these chargers are so great. With gallium nitride, the chargers can be so much smaller and they run cooler than the older generation of chargers. And Anchor has created a special stack design to make this as small as they can get, reducing the size of the charger by over 50% and making it run cooler at the same time. Heat is the enemy of all electronics, and since this runs cooler, it also extends the lifetime of the charger itself. So let's go through these one by one because they sent me a whole bunch of these and they are all just a little bit different. The Anker 735 is their smallest 65 watt charger. This is basically half the size of the roughly equivalent Apple 61 watt charger. Just look how small it is. Plus it actually has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. And that is more than enough to charge your M1 or M2 MacBook Air, plus your phone or your iPad. The next one up, only slightly larger, is the Anker 737. This is their 120 watt charger. And for comparison, here is Apple's 96 watt charger. The Anker is just so much smaller, even though it has more power. 120 watts is enough to charge the 13 inch MacBook Pro, as well as a phone and iPad too. All of these chargers have power IQ with dynamic power distribution, and that detects the power requirements of whatever laptop or tablet or phone you've plugged into it, and distributes the output to all of them in real time. The 737, like the 735, has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. This can power the Yolobox Mini with the USB-C and my camera's DC adapter with the USB-A. And I still have another USB-C left over for my laptop. Next is the Anker 747, which was unfortunately not in stock when they shipped these to me, so I don't actually have it here. But this one is 150 watts and it adds another USB-C output. This one is getting to be a bit bigger than the others, but it's still significantly smaller than Apple's 140 watt charger. And at 150 watts, this can power multiple high wattage devices. So you really only need to carry one charger with you when you travel. So these are the three power bricks that you plug into a wall. There's a few more different options too. The Anker 733 is a 65 watt charger with two USB-C ports and one USB-A port, but it also has a built-in 10,000 milliamp hour battery. The charger plug flips out from the side, so you don't even need to bring another power bank with you. You can just plug this directly into the wall, and it's 65 watts, so you can even run your laptop off of this too. The Anker 727 is a massive 100 watt power station with two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports, plus two additional 120 volt outlets on top. This is great for a desk, and it can work great in my camera rig to power all these devices. Here I can power my camera's DC adapter with two USB-A ports, power the audio interface with the USB-C, this SDI converter with the other USB-C, and the monitor from the AC outlet. Yep, I'm pretty sure this lives here now. And it's ridiculously thin for what it is. It's just about as thick as my iPhone. The Anker 615 is a slightly smaller version of that. It has a short power cable and another 120 volt outlet on the top. 
It has two USB-C and one USB-A port. And it's also 65 watts. And this is actually another really great one for travel because sometimes the outlets in the hotel rooms don't have a way for you to plug in an actual power brick into them. So if you just undo the built-in cord here, then you can plug this into the wall. Plus it actually extends if you open up this little sleeve, you can then unwrap the cord and it gets to be about three feet long. So overall, I am super excited about these new chargers. It's taken a while, but I'm glad we're finally seeing these chargers with multiple USB-C ports in them. I remember a few years ago, the most you could find was one USB-C and two USB-A. And now more and more devices are moving to USB-C, so you can buy fewer chargers now to power more devices. It's really great to see these advancements in the technology, getting smaller, more efficient, which all helps reduce carbon emissions and reduce waste. So there you have it. This gives you an idea of the options for the chargers and batteries and power strips available from Anchor. And I wanna give a huge thanks to Anchor for sending these out to share on this channel. If you are considering buying any of these, please check out the links in the description below. These are affiliate links and it helps support this channel with a small commission at no extra cost to you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.